So, how did I meet Mrs. Firehouse? Well, here's a fact. I found her under the bridge. Yeah, she was shivering. She had mud all over the face, and she was just so cold. And then when I saw her, I saw, I was like, oh, poor baby. And then she was like, Annyeonghaseyo! Welcome to the Bye House Show! Hello. I'm Mrs. Bye House. I'm Mr. Bye House. Nida. If you enjoyed our videos, please hit that like button and have a conversation with us by submitting a question below. And don't forget to subscribe! Thank you so much, family. We're calling you family for submitting your questions. <laughs> on our last episode, our introduction and gratitude episode. And they're all really, really good. And we're trying to answer every one of them. And first, we have from Jella Kambi. Her question, um, okay, her comment was also oh, cute. Love how both of you seem so genuine. Also love the cute awkwardness in between. So here's a question. What led you to try out Tinder? What's your advice for Christian girls and guys about online dating? Wow. All right, so I'll start first. And my key advice to you guys, um, especially those who are a believer, definitely have patience and have some faith and definitely wait on the Lord. Um, for me, I uh, anticipated waiting a very long time and I actually swipe left about 90% of the time and you can imagine I had very very low success match weight. Um, so after three four months I finally matched up with Monica and thinking that <laughs> thinking that I was clearly not going to date foreigner. But so what happened was God changed my heart and he gave me an open heart to be uh, open to my lovely wife and definitely I felt very very blessed to match with her on a perfect time perfect place and it was an amazing and what a blessing experience really yes for me I was never on online dating up until I was uh, with my friend who just told me to try online dating and I was just two days on Tinder. Um, she was beside me when I was swiping. And she swiped right, right. on every single <laughs> one of them. And you can imagine she got like 50 matches per day. I didn't know about those things. I just felt so bad. So I was just like <laughs> swiping right. And I, I ended up uh, matching with several, right? And there were three James. I was one of them. Three James, he was <laughs> one of them, but his question caught my attention and that was, how was your walk with Jesus? How was your walk with God? What's my advice? Uh, ladies, especially for ladies, I guess, uh, just wait on the Lord. And because I was turning 30 years old, <laughs> dun, 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 dun. So my friend was telling me, why, why aren't you still dating? And this is not like, don't be pressured ladies, don't be in a hurry. I was never in a hurry, I was not, I was just really happy being single. But God uh, match up when it's right, when it's the time, when it's His timing. And I matched up with Him. Alright, so we have another question by John Burt. Haven't you planned on staying in Korea or in the Philippines? James wants to stay in America. We never visited Korea, but we really, really plan to go maybe next year. Actually, James went, the first international visit was in the Philippines, not Korea. <laughs> In the Philippines. In the Philippines because he wanted to ask my parents permission for for him to date me. Good job. And we might want to retire in the Philippines. 
<laughs> yes, I'm totally biased. Uh, I love this country. I totally believe that this is the greatest country in God's green earth. And then um, just, uh, yeah, we're definitely staying here for now. And um, we're just pretty much having all of our faith in God. I just have my wife with me, God, and... Uh, anywhere. Anywhere. Okay. Yes. Anywhere. So our next question is from Andrea C. My question is, which quality do you appreciate most about the other? Continued success in your channel. My number one trait or personality or quality that I love about Marga, my wife, is her heart. Um, she has a very kind and loving heart to serve everyone to serve Jesus, to serve family and her friends and even those who are unfriendly to her, she <laughs> serves really well. She has amazing and kind, unconditional love and I just love how she expresses her kindness to everyone in every situation. I love wow. It. Cheers. The second quality that I love about her is her expression. She can be very, very cute, and it melts my heart when she smiles. Yeah, she, oh. <laughs> yeah and I just... <laughs> I just love how she interacts and how she talks to me. It's just so loving, so heartwarming. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> she's lying. <laughs> no. Especially when she's irritated by me, she'll be like, Oh, 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 soplado, se va a seguir, ah, soplado, me voy a Number one. Number one. Number one. His face. <laughs> this is not a quality. That is a quality. I, I'm so colleague. He, wow, that's a lot. <laughs> that's you. Okay, I'm not, I'm not following the three qualities. <laughs> There's just so much. So, <laughs> I really love so his demeanor, his charm. Uh, very sweet. That really, really melts my heart. <laughs> See? <laughs> Child genius so <laughs> His heart, his love for family, his uh, being very faithful to his family, to our Biohouse family, the way he takes care of me, the way he takes care that everything... Are you crying? <laughs> <laughs> All these amazing qualities. That was supposed to be number one, but I just made Gong Yu to be number one because it's funnier. <laughs> <laughs> Question number four by Mitch. How soon do you plan to extend the family? Would you like your firstborn to be a girl or a boy? Love, love, love. See you soon. We're really, really excited. <laughs> We are praying and waiting for God's timing and we we love kids. I love kids and I can't wait to have one. Maybe hopefully next year. We'll, we'll never know and I really want to have a girl. <laughs> we even have a name for our first boy yeah, and a first girl. We have already. It's a secret we can't share it to you guys yet. And I want to have as many as seven or eleven. Wow. Just imagine one little, two little, three little corpinos, four little, five little, six little corpinos. <laughs> I want to have seven of them working under me. Oh. They're like my minions. <laughs> so I'm just gonna make them work really hard for me, child labor. <laughs> you know, we're gonna dream big, we're gonna be big, grow big. Wow. I was just kidding. It's more of an investment for joy, and my dream is to have at least 21 grandkids. And all these little grandkids running around in a circle, and we're like, Honey, I can't catch them! <laughs> Honey, you don't look like a grandpa, you look like a zombie. <laughs> Our last question is from Susan. Where did you meet and did your family, James, approve of Morgan once despite of cultural differences? Thank you for the question. We met, obviously not under the bridge, 
We first met in Hollywood uh, for a three-hour date. Starbucks. <laughs> yes, you can say the day Starbucks. <laughs> Yeah, we just met once and we never stopped talking through Messenger. And really, we never missed a day. Never. 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 Wow. Okay. Now, did my family approve of Monica uh, despite our cultural differences? Um, the answer was no at first. Uh, it was tough. Monica was crying. I was really, really sad. And it was a lot of, it, it, it was a struggle. But it was definitely an amazing love story uh, by God's grace. And it's a long story. Um, it could last for days and days. I could <laughs> talk about it for years. And we do plan on sharing how we met and sharing our actual love story near the future. And definitely stay tuned and we will tell you all about it. Um, how we met and the struggle the with struggles. a K-1 visa or even struggle with getting my parents approval and struggle. The waiting. Yes, waiting. The long distance. Long distance. It was crazy. All our friends would uh, attest to how difficult our situation was and we are just so blessed that we're here in this time. Yeah, all those struggles is what makes us really who we are now and how strong we are. And ultimately, my family did approve of Marga. They love her. They took her as their own child. And um, it's an amazing story behind that. So definitely stay tuned. Well, family, that is a wrap. So thank you for joining us, having a conversation with us, supporting us, and thank you. And stay tuned. We'll keep uploading videos for you and share our love story. Cheers.